Hello guys, sort of physio, hope having a wonderful day, if not so back, relax and enjoy the video. Now today guys, I am here, I am back with another Duel Links video, another roaming event guide. Uh, in today's video, I'll be showing you and giving you some tips on how to farm Quinton. Now, he's currently a roaming event right now. His rewards, compared to the last roaming event, I'll be honest, they're, I don't know, I don't know, they're, they're not the best. Where is it, where is it? Okay. They're not the best. We got this card, the the BES level eight, and we got this bad boy. Okay, not the best of cards. I'll be just meh, just typical Konami shenanigans, right? But um, again, this hopefully what I'm hoping for is his unlock event, his next two unlock events, and his level ups are really good. I, I'm really hoping he's not a filler character, and you know he's taken somewhat seriously and has given you know machine like gives us machine support cards and like machine techs and whatnot but yeah anyway on to the tips and stuff of course if you don't have the best of luck with farming and getting the uh, the card drop dropping for you obviously you want to do these challenges you want to get this card um through winning seven times and playing 15 times of course you want to farm like that but now the main thing this this video is actually going to be a lot shorter compared to the last uh roaming event guide i i, I think um very straightforward very simple when you're joining him of course before you duel him um you would like to activate the results booster crystal or gem whatever you want to call it you want to activate this so then you have a higher assessment score which means a higher chance of good drop rewards now for the decks i'm gonna show you some decks on what to use to farm him now there are many 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 types of farm decks out there there are so many guys so so many like it's, what I show you is not the be all and end all. There are so many types. Like pe the thing is with farming, or quote unquote farm, I, I put in air quotations farming. It's taken many different <laughs> definitions, I guess you could say. Like some people say, just something to sack the character quickly, get the jewel done, farm him over and over again. And some people say, no, that's not how you do it. You want to get the highest possible score to get the highest possible drop rewards. And you know, I I'm with both definitions regardless. You know, so the decks I'm going to show you fit under both categories, you know. Um, last one I did, I showed two decks. I'm going to show three this time. And yeah, let's get straight into it. Let's get on to the first deck. Okay, first off, a zero gem deck. This deck, does, this deck doesn't cost anything at all. Like, literally no gems. Most of these cards are acquired by tickets uh, or for free. This is through the card trader. This is through tickets. This is through tickets as well. Same with this. You can also get them through drop rewards for you bell. This, I think, is Sartorius or just tickets. I don't know off the top of my head. This is from the card trader. Uh, all, all, all these here are from the card trader, these three cards. And of course, the Earthbound Immortals, I think, is when you unlock Rex Goodwin and Kalen. And Montage Dragon is a level up reward through Trudge. Now, this deck, very simple, very easy to use. You want Quinton to hit you. You want to pass your turn. This is why we've got Arcana Temperance and we've got Kyroid. In case he, you know, he's about to kill you, you've got your defense in the hand. But realistically, you want him to damage you so you can draw Sense Earth. And with that, you bring out the Montage Dragon. He's the only Earth attribute card in your deck. So you will always draw him no matter what. Obviously, when you summon him, you have the high levels. This will give him bigger attack depending on how much, uh, how big the levels are you are discarding. And you just swing in and it's GG, you know? From his uh, his um, level 40 deck, there are no spells or traps that should stop you. Realistically, I don't think Dyson Sphere will stop you either when swinging. I don't think that he plays any type of interruption whatsoever. So this deck is fine. Um, I can show you guys a deck that play a version of this deck that plays against interruption. Uh, but again, he doesn't play it, so I'll save that for the next roaming event guide with whatever character that <laughs> that may be that does play interruption. But yeah, this is a quick, easy to use deck free and um, draw sense earth as a skill and yeah let's move on to the next one now the next one is a typical old school one claudian ra i did do this or use this in the last uh roaming guide video as well but this is the thing now uh different skill dual fuel really i would recommend using fairy smile as you gain life points quicker using that and it's so much better but i don't have fairy smile on any zexal characters i think the only one that has it is tori meadows i don't have it on her my bad but if you don't have that again just like me you got dual fuel i think it works two or three times a jewel you can increase your life points by a thousand and of course your cards will stall out and you will just gain life points upon life points upon life points with the cloudian cards stalling him out as well 
they'll stay on the field unaffected by I think they can't be destroyed and um, yeah they will have a immune immunity effects all right I can't be able to read the cards let's be for it okay but with these on the field yeah they can't be destroyed especially with this they, you need the field spell on, on, on the field actually it's not these cards it's the field spell um, yeah uh, you take no damage whatsoever from the opponent you're gonna have three Cloudians on the field. You're gonna tribute all of them for your uh, Wing Dragon of Ra. Gain all uh, attack points from your life points, and you just swing in. That's the proper. People would say this is the best one to get the highest score because you're swinging in with you know over nine 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 damage. So yeah, you got that. And the next farm deck is isn't really a farm deck. Again, it's a quick part, quick fast paced OTK deck, and I'll show you guys right now. Okay, so Dynamist is the last one. I'll be showing you today not really considered a farm deck I would consider it a farm deck in the sense of you finish the duel quickly and you sh you know you just keep going again and again and again uh, dueling Quinton now this is the thing this like if you can't get the Rex because when I, I remember building this this was a bastard of a card to get it took me forever to get this card you can take this away add a third Ceratops you can add you know a second Stegosaur you can add a second power load whatever you want whatever you want right this will pretty much just win you the duel really quickly and even on auto duel it, it do doesn't really make too many mistakes this deck this deck is m more so meant for the auto duel the other two decks are meant for you to manually control so i guess this is more of the people that are like oh i, I don't really want to manually control it just give me an auto duel deck this is it this is your auto duel deck auto duel deck that will win you the game but yeah that's pretty much it it's very self-explanatory like this deck like Everyone knows Dynamis. If you don't, I guess I'll try to get a replay for you. I'm going to show you guys how to play the deck. There'll be replays. And then, yeah, the f I dueled him once. And I already got uh, the ultra rare uh, BS Big Core uh, from him. So, yeah, with the Montage Dragon deck. Just one duel. That's all it took. So, <laughs> efficiency, right? But, yeah, that's it from me. Um, I'm going to show you the replays. But, yeah, uh, with these cards, again, this his roaming event cards, they're not the best. The only use I can see them is in a zero gem tournament format, and we do do that on our Twitch channel. Shameless plug. Uh, if you're not following the Twitch, feel free to follow. Um, we do many things over there. We do zero gem tournaments, free to play tournaments, unlimited tournaments, off meta tournaments. We do PvP events. We just did the uh, WI the, the Turbo Jewel uh, event on on stream. We did we we, we do PVE <laughs> events. We do character raid events. We're gonna be doing uh, the zone character raid event on stream. We do, um, what else do we do? Cog climbs. We do many things on the on the Twitch channel. Uh, jewel rooms, all that good stuff. So yeah, if you're interested, feel free to follow the Twitch. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it for me. If you enjoyed the video and you found it quite helpful, be sure to hit like button below and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you're new, on, new out there. I want to see more content like this. That's pretty much it for me for today's video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if it was and let me know what you hope he Quinton brings to the tables. Because uh, he's got voice lines with a lot of different machine cards and decks, like Cosmos being one of them. So yeah, hopefully we get some good stuff with him when he comes later on. But yeah, that's it from me. I love you all. Stay safe, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace.